Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop, Photoshop 221, same for earlier versions, and halftone filter as a smart object and using blending modes as well as gradients. Create a new document, go over to the gradient tool, make certain you've got one of the legacy gradients like rainbow or something, and then go for the radial option as well as blending mode of difference. Quickly apply a gradient. Or just use some other background, perfectly reasonable, but I like a nice colorful background to start with. Once you've got that, what you can do, you can turn it into a smart object. Go to a layer menu and smart object and convert to smart object. We'll just go over here to filter, go to pixelate and then down to color halftone. Now I'm setting it to 127, that's the maximum. Wish it could go up to 250 or 300, it'd be really great. You can keep the angles here, various channels, Click OK. You've got your design. Well, what you can then do, go over here to the Layers panel, and you can find that in the Window menu, and you can see Color Halftone. All the smart filters are added below the actual layer. They're associated with the layer. Let's go there and double click, and you can bring up the blending modes. Go through the blending modes, and I'm going to go with Difference. Straight away, you've got a super colorful design. Once you've done that, you can apply other effects as well. If you want to, you can flatten the image. You don't have to keep it live like that. Just go to Layer and Flatten Image. And then you can go to Filter and maybe Stylize as well as Oil Paint. Click OK. Apply it three or four times. And that sort of smears it all in together. And you've got a nice, weird and wonderful design there. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.